Hello YouTubers, today I am going to review a different Linux distro that is not much popular. This Linux distro is called Porteus. P-O-R-T-E-U-S, Porteus Linux distro. This is based on a Slackware Linux distro uh, which is uh, like Arch Linux but more complicated. Mm, so uh, setting up a slackware device is much more what can I say difficult like Jindu so if you want to uh, know how slackware works and uh, uh, get a feel of slackware software then you can use this distro now this is an XFC edition. There are basically two editions for this uh, distro. A standard edition and XFC edition. A standard edition consists of KDE, desktop environment, LXDE, uh, open box, etc. Uh, but for X uh, there is a separate edition for XFC in which only XFC is available. Uh, there are 32-bit uh, and 64-bit uh, distros. Uh, KDE desktop environment is only available for 64 bit. Uh, all other uh, desktop environments are available for 32 and 64 bit. Now, uh, uh, it is very amazing how small this distro is. Uh, it's what can I say for XFC edition, it's only somewhat uh, less than 200 MB, and for standard edition, it's only below 300 MB. So it is very small, very minimalistic, but also has so many default, so many useful default uh, applications. You can see here, no other uh, minimalistic distros has this much software as default. So now I am using an XFC, it uses an XFC 4.10. Again, say it is a nice distro. It is also very good for old hardware also. So, if you have an old computer, this will work very fine and very like it will boot up at lightning speed. So, mm, well let's start with the applications in here. Let's go to settings manager. In the settings manager, there is an application ap appearance, uh, sorry, appearance menu, in which you can change the themes and other stuffs, icons, everything of, of this distro. And in the desktop option, uh, we can change the wallpaper. Uh, at default, there is only a single wallpaper, so you can adjust brightness, saturation, everything from here. Mm. Uh, the file manager is Tunar. Uh, default XFC file manager so the settings of file manager can be uh, you can change from here uh, here uh, this in this uh, the XFC panel we can add or delete any panels we can customize the panels everything based on these settings are here um, in the prefer applications we just uh, use what application should be used as default then in the windows manager menu we can change the themes of the windows decorator here so there are defaultly somewhat five themes available you can download from xfc theme sites uh, and it also consists of a windows manager tweaks Again, let's focus compositing settings, transparency, everything from here. And at default, there are only two workspaces available. If you want more workspaces, you can change from this workspace settings. And there is a display setting for monitor resolution and everything. Keyboard setting for keyboard, mouse settings, power manager. You know, if you are using a laptop, uh, uh, remove device or drive media settings, you know, accessibility settings, type editor, your usual steps, startup applications, settings editor, etc. Now, uh, the default uh, uh, web browser is a Firefox web browser, which is very cool. 
and I am the Firefox guy, you know. So Kunar, oh, so then there are two terminals, uh, LXD terminal, which is LX terminal, and XFCE terminal. I don't know why they included both terminals, but it is there. And in accessories, uh, we have Archimo manager for uh, zip file, and everything for bulk renaming, clip manager. Uh, calculator, genie, uh, programming tool, something, uh, terminal, uh, mouse pad, uh, notes, sticky notes like thing, uh, screenshot for taking a screenshot of your desktop, task manager like a system monitor, uh, your file manager, and then RSC terminal. And the graphics menu you have a raster auto image viewer, I think so, it is raster auto. So for viewing images, then there is empty paint application for painting and stuff. And in the internet menu, uh, we c there are uh, Firefox browser, Pidgin Internet Manager, Internet Messenger, uh, Transmission Bitcoin Torrent Client, uh, and FTP file transfer stuff. I don't know what this do. Uh, then uh, you get download manager then at the multimedia we have a CD ripper a sound a sounder CD ripper an audacious music an audacious music player uh, genome M player for video player ISO master for IS mounting and stuff uh, a CD audit blu-ray writer like P burn and a video editor avid mix too then the users and in office menu there is an abbey word as a default there is no library office but there is an abbey word uh, in the dictionary there is a dictionary uh, generic calendar you know global time time settings and a pdf viewer e pdf viewer for pdf viewing and lesson uh, system there is the uh, same things but uh, you know there is a g part for the partition um, you can manage printing uh, and mounting drives and stuff, network connection settings, and there is a frequently asked question menu for Porteous. You can check from here. Uh, there is a package Porteous package manager. This is a custom built package manager for the Porteous. I will show in a moment. The Porteous set the settings call center, uh, system information and stuff. Then you can just go into super user mode from clicking here. While clicking here, you can go to super user mode. So you don't have to come and uh, like sudo or something. If you want to do something in super user mode, then you can just go here. The default password for super user mode is tour. T O O R. The reverse of root, you know. So yes, here now you are in root and you can do everything in root. Like that, you can browse in file manager also so you can copy or paste any files like a root user now this are thing ah, now uh, about the Porteous package manager now it will also ask your root password it is t o o r tour I enter it it will load everything uh, now if f at first run it will ask uh, is, uh, it will ask the, uh, some choose a directory for downloading the modules it says you should not do it in home or root uh, so since I am using this in as a live I will go to live and just take some and now it will load loading the interface uh, actually this distro just uh, manages packages based on databases databases means uh, it, it has Porteous database uh, I can look here uh, there is a Porteous database Slackware database Slack build database Salix database Alien database Alien database I mean I think so it is based on any other distros then the Debian database so if you want to install a certain software you just click on the keyword so if you want to search uh, say vlc enter it will find vlc 
Now just double click it and it shows 8.2 MB compress size. Just uh, click get it now and it will just download and install any dependencies. If you don't want any dependencies, just click this uh, box, then it will only download the VLC. So it is it works based on Slackware 14 version. Mm, yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, it is really a nice package manager, you know, symbol for uh, new Linux users or those who are new to Slackware and stuff, you know. And it also has a package manager update, so you can update everything, refresh every database. All options are available here. So this, what can I say now? This is a nice distro, but it is not very pretty as, as the Linux distro I use for the background. It is, I mean, you may, I mean the elementary OS, but uh, you know, it is very fast and it is meant, it is a uh, dual purpose. You know, that means it can be run on old systems and new systems. It is lightning fast, and it does every job very neat and clean. So you can just check this distro out. I will post a link to this download here. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, uh, please like this video and subscribe for more Linux distro reviews. Thank you.